Hello everyone, Relax here. Before we start, I would like to quickly remind you to subscribe to the channel and to have the notifications turned on. IBM all building machines to outthink the human mind is all a coincidence without an ultimate goal. No, no chance. So, how do we get there? We turn them into robots connected to a hive mind. Transcendence was a movie um, that was based just a little into the future, not far. And the Internet of Things was reality. And quantum computers were a reality. And the Johnny Jet figure was a scientist who found he was dying. So his wife, who's also a scientist, they downloaded his consciousness, his mind, onto a quantum computer. And when he died, she downloaded his mind onto the internet, and Johnny Depp's mind took over the internet. This was symbolic of AI. Um, transcendence, the internet wakes up and becomes conscious. And the idea is that everything is connected to the internet, including the human mind, and artificial intelligence then takes control of the internet and controls everything connected to the internet, including the human mind. Humanity and AI are the assimilation. Oh, it's going to be so great. No, it's not. Um, and um, sci-fi, both in movies and in television uh, and, and books, are so often put the plan in front of us. Um, and this is um, a, 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 a race that was part of the Star Trek uh, series in their multiple forms called the Borg. The Borg are the Archons or the Transhumans. The Borg, Archon, Transhumans. That's what they were. They were part technology, part what we would call biological. The Borg are a collection of species that have been turned into cybernetic organisms functioning as drones in a hive mind called the collective or the hive. The Borg use a process called assimilation to force other species into the collective by injection of microscopic machines called nanoprobes. And the mantra of the Borg is resistance is futile. This is Peter H. Diamandis, co-founder of the Singularity Transhumanism University with Ray Kurzweil. He said, anybody who is going to be resisting the progress forward to transhumanism is going to be resisting evolution and fundamentally they will die out. It is not a matter of whether it's good or bad, it's going to happen. Resistance is futile, in other words. It isn't, by the way. Now, these nanobots that the Borg talked about, which assimilated um, their targets into the hive mind, the collective, now exist. We call them nanotechnology, nanobots, nanoids, nanites, nanomachines, nanomites, micro-machines that can assemble and maintain sophisticated systems and can build devices, machines, or circuits through a process called molecular manufacturing. They can also produce copies of themselves through self-replication. These now exist. And they're also known as smart dust or neural dust, digital dust. And they're described as tiny electronic particles for wireless communication with each other and anything they connect with. And what they're already doing, this is a story about it, is they're putting this neural dust into the brains of victims in experiments. And from that, they are very painfully manipulating those people from afar via the neural dust. This is where they want to go. Now, this is what Kurzweil said uh, from the Google monster. Nanobots will infuse all the matter around us with information. Rocks, trees, everything will become these intelligent creatures. With robots in our brains, we'll be godlike. No, we'll be robots, and this, this guy frickin' knows it. Kurzweil, we're not talking a long time now. Kurzweil says humans will have hybrid cloud-powered brains by 2030. And he says our thinking will be a hybrid of biological and non-biological thinking. Humans will be able to extend their limitations and think in the cloud. 
We're going to put gateways to the cloud in our brains. We're going to gradually merge and enhance ourselves. In my view, that's the nature of being human. We transcend our limitations. This is the sales pitch and it's absolute bollocks. He goes on. As the technology becomes vastly superior to what we are, then the small proportion that is still human gets smaller and smaller and smaller until it's just utterly negligible. By which time there will be no human mind, just a biological, not even that in the end, terminal for artificial intelligence. That is what transhumanism is all about. New computers could delete thoughts without your knowledge, experts warn. The plan is that once this starts to happen, the me human memory is deleted. So we start at, uh, at uh, year zero. This technology exists now. Everything these days has got smart in front of it and everything smart technologically is designed to connect and communicate with every other thing that is called smart technologically. We have smart grids unfolding with smart television, smart phones, smart watches, smart meters, smart dust, smart pills, smart streets, smart cities, smart communities, smart, all smart fricking everything. We have smartphones, we have smart televisions watching us, listening to us. Uh, we have smart meters, which is connected to this Wi-Fi grid. This is why they want smart meters in every home and business, because it throws up an electromagnetic Wi-Fi field which is part of this technological sub-reality. That's why they want it. The fact that it's devastating for health to be in that environment uh, day after day is irrelevant to these people. They give a shit. This is one of the keys to the grid. The introduction of 5G cellular technology to blanket planetary life with ultra-high microwave frequencies. They, this is the level of power they need, at very least, to, to run this grid as they want it. And that's why they're rushing out this health-destroying, perception-destroying 5G as fast as they can without any regulation. And if you look at um, these 5G transmitters here, because of the nature of the way it works, you need transmitters very, very close to each other. You're talking fantastic numbers of these transmitters in streets and communities pouring out this 5G microwave health destroying shite. And, and it's working on the same frequencies that they use for crowd control weapons, which operate by burning the skin and making people run to get away from it. Um, and so we have children being brought up in this incredible irradiated um, environment. And we had a report in Britain a few months ago which said there'd been a massive increase in brain tumors, especially among the young, but they didn't know why. Oh, I think I can give them a clue somehow. <laughs> Madness. Why don't they say the obvious? Because the agenda doesn't want that. In transcendence, how they, could, how they connected humans to the internet and the Johnny Depp's mind control of the internet, thus control of their minds, was by releasing sentient nanoparticles spread on the wind. Now those sentient nanoparticles I've just described, smart dust, nanobots, whatever, have you? And this is how they are being spread on the wind. There are many things in chemtrails, not contrails, chemtrails coming out of aircraft which crisscross the sky and instead of dissolving like contrails, condensation trails, do not dissolve but, but just pan out. I've sat um, in America, in a desert of America for a week at a, a, a town there and I've watched aircraft crisscross a crystal blue sky in the morning and turn it into a cloudy sky by early afternoon through chemtrails. And in these are aluminium and other metals that are really bad for health and, and, and create a, a conductive atmosphere, which is great for weather control and many other things. But in there is nanotechnology. And that is how they are infusing the world with nanobots and smart dust, as I've described. Nanobots will infuse all the matter around us with information 
rocks, trees, everything will become these intelligent creatures. How the hell are you going to do that globally unless you drop it from the sky? And that's what chemtrails are all about. And since chemtrails uh, started, well, they started earlier, but they became, people became aware of them in the late 1990s. In the same period has come the chemtrail disease, known as Morgellons or Morgellons disease, um, where people are finding fibers, self-replicating fibers in their body, hollow tubes, and many other things, I'll show a few examples, that are coming out of their skin, that are, that are growing, and you pull them out, and they self-replicate themselves. And what they're saying to hide this is that the people suffering from Morgellons disease um, are suffering from a psychosis. It's in their mind. Yes, yes, that's a manifestation of the mind and not something that's inside the body. That's absolutely right, you freaking idiots. But the reason they're saying that is they don't want the truth to come out because then the dominoes start to fall. Well, what's going on? Where is it coming from? These are some of the things that are coming out. Let's get out. So, I, I know someone in America who's got more gallons. And she sent me a load of pictures from, that she's collected of, of it. Here's a, some of them. Uh, bits of silicon coming out of their bodies, um, often in, in a kind of uh, uh, hexagonal kind of shape. Um, these have all come out of the bodies of Morgellon sufferers uh, who are just dismissed by the medical profession. Um, that's come out of the bodies. This, this, this is all technology that has grown from nanotechnology. And there is a, a theory, that's all it is at the moment, that Morgellon sufferers are those whose bodies have rejected, are rejecting the nanotechnology, and that's why it's showing, whereas other people are absorbing it. Now, this, uh, scientists have made star-shaped biodegradable polymers that can self-assemble into hollow nanofiber spheres. And when the spheres are injected with, uh, with, uh, with uh, cells into wounds, these spheres biodegrade, but cells live to form new tissue. Well, look, that is a, um, a technological creation. And that is something that's coming out of the bodies of Morgellons sufferers. That's coming out of a Morgellon sufferer. And that, and that, has come out of one more gallon sufferer, and it's basically straight out the frickin' matrix. And some of them light up, and their power source is something called piezoelectricity, or pressing electricity, where the body movement um, creates electricity through the body movement, and these things um, are empowered by them. Uh, this is a doctor in America, mysterious new blood bacteria, seems like nanobot bioweapon. Um, this is what we're looking at. We're being freaking invaded. We're being invaded while, while thinking we're living in a, in, in a free world, a real world.